Hello, everybody, and welcome to TriStar's presentation of Keyshot, From Sketch to Shelf. My name is Sean Schreckengast. I'm a business development manager for TriStar, and with me today is Randy Briggs. He is the Keyshot channel manager for the Americas for Luxion, the makers of Keyshot. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, TriStar is one of PTC's uh, largest value-added resellers of products and services worldwide. We've been serving customers for over 25 years as experts in CAD, data management, PLM, and product development. Many of our key management and services personnel are former PTC employees. Myself included, I spent 16 years with PTC before coming to TriStar in 2011. Sketch the shelf. Taking an idea all the way to a marketable product on the shelf, ready to be in the consumer's hands. But why would we need Keyshot for that? I mean, you'll get some amazing imagery animations for sure. We all know that Keyshot can create compelling renderings, but what else can Keyshot provide? You might not uh, be aware, but Keyshot can be used during the CAD modeling phase. How does Keyshot fit in with CMF design? What assets can you provide for, for your website? There are a lot of questions like these that come up from users who are trying to integrate Keyshot into their workflow in a way that is deeper than just product visualization. These are great questions. We're going to answer a lot of them today. The creative team at Luxion took this helmet concept called Envoy from the beginning stages, from sketching all the way to marketing assets to underscore the sketch to shelf concept. They did this to better illustrate how you can implement Keyshot in multiple phases throughout the design process. So we'll see a lot of imagery in this presentation of helmets. The purpose is to give a clear picture of what it's like to go from start to finish using Keyshot. I encourage all of you to check out the web page Luxion put together, specifically dedicated to this project. If you look at some of the imagery on this on your own, uh, you can visit Keyshot dot com slash envoy. This page is full of example images and assets, including plenty of key shop files that you can download. Most of what we will talk about in this presentation, you can find here. If you want to explore the scenes yourself, you can do so. And that's really the purpose of this project, to give you a full overview of everything key shop. The typical product development process, what does it look like? Well, the big picture is something like conceptualize, model, visualize. But within those phases, you'll get into the details of the process, and that's where you'll find Keyshot. If we expand the product development process, you have ideation tools, CMS solutions, total real imagery, and interactive assets. We will see a lot of overlap with the features being mentioned today. There are many ways to make use of Keyshot but the point I want to get across is that Keyshot is more than just an amazing rendering software. It's a problem-solving tool that will give you faster workflow and tighter integration. So let's get into some ideation tools first. Naturally, of course, you've been put, you put pen to paper and your design is starting to come to life. Now you need to take it into your CAD program and model it. That's where Keyshot's plug-in support is important. Whether you're using Creo or one of the several other supported CAD tools, grab the plugin and take advantage of live linking. Live linking is quite literally a click of a button and your CAD model and Keyshot model are linked. Changes made in your CAD program will be reflected in Keyshot. And this is what really is going to elevate your workflow. Imagine you've created your CAD model, you've used the plugin to link to Keyshot, and now you're working side by side with the two. In Keyshot, you're adding textures and materials while still linked back to your CAD program. And that's pretty important because you might be working in Keyshot and suddenly realize you need to make a change to your model. With live linking, you can make that change in your CAD program, get the update in Keyshot without any disruptive or destructive changes to your Keyshot scene. To put it simply, it's less time loading and more time creating. There's an added benefit to seeing your model inside of T-Shot where you get to see how proper lighting and an environment interacts with your surfaces. That's really something you can't achieve in most CAD programs. It's this plug-in support plus the live linking 
that will allow for quicker understanding of how your changes affect the form. And that leads us to another ideation tool, and that is the ability to bounce between Keyshot and sketching. It's common for designers to sketch over a base rendering of a digital model because this gives more freedom in terms of lighting and environmental factors that might otherwise take time to convey traditional sketching. You can see this where a user will pull in a rough rendering or maybe even a clay model and start to sketch on top of it. Luxion's creative team did this for parts of the Envoy projects as they went back and forth with different design ideas. It's great to have accurate shadows and highlights underneath their sketch. They didn't have to add them by hand. Any changes the creative team made with the CAD model were easy to validate because of the live linking. They were able to easily see how the new surface changes interacted with the environment. It became an easy and intuitive cycle between ideation, CAD, and Keyshot. In terms of speeding up the review process for any surface changes or even new design features, this is just an excellent use case for incorporating T-Shot into that early concept development phase. We have our model built and now we're ready to assess the color, materials, and finish. This is a really important step in ensuring that your product fits well with your branding. And it's one step that requires communication internally amongst your CMF designers or industrial designers and externally with your stakeholders. A tool that will help tighten up that workflow internally is the configurator. This is part of Keyshot Web, a separate add-on that allows you to create presentation style and model and material variations of your scene. These can be shared in a web browser or with Keyshot Viewer, a free desktop app. You can see this video, how easily we can click through different colorways and camera views within the presentation layout. It is much easier to use this than if you were to try to present your work from within Keyshot. The reason I want to highlight it under the CMS phase is because it takes advantage of the multi-materials and model sets in your scene and presents them in a shareable way that is easy for everyone to click through. In, this, in the case of the Envoy Helmet project, Luxion's creative team were looking to get approval on colorways and material variations. They didn't want to manually output these renderings to convey those ideas because first, that requires a lot of setup inside a key shop. And second, it takes a long time to render out. Plus, they were sharing this file with someone who didn't have any key shot experience, so giving them a key shot package file was not really an option. So instead, they used the configurator wizard inside key shot, which allowed Luxion to output this presentation friendly setup of the scene that you're seeing right here. And working with the team, you're constantly doing these review sessions where ideally you're making design decisions in person, touching real materials and textures. Of course, that's not the world we live in today. Everything is going digital. Shipping physical samples to stakeholders can be costly and time consuming. And that's where you'll find in your workflow the accuracy of textures and Keyshot and the ease of sharing those with the configurator, very helpful. Now in Keyshot 10.2 is a new layout mode for a more minimal, modern, and touch-friendly configurator. And since we're on the topic of design reviews and decision-making, TVR is an immersive option and is another great tool for a remote work situation. TVR is an add-on tool that brings a whole new level to the creative process. With TVR, you're able to view your model in an interactive environment with support for multi-materials, cameras, and model sets. You can explore a product space and what your product will look like in that space. You can now do this collaboratively, collaboratively with TVR Connect. TVR Connect is part of the latest update to TVR. TVR Connect gives the ability to connect virtually with your team in a shared scene. That means you can jump in and explore your model together from anywhere. Any changes made by someone in that scene can be viewed by everybody. Whether you're changing the material or model set, everyone can see it. Walk around it or rotate it. TBR is an awesome way to view your product right in front of you. This is also another feature you can make use of down the line in your workflow. It's versatile and fun. The next CMF solution Keyshot provides is this incredible 
3MF support. If you're unfamiliar with 3MF file types, it's an alternative to, alternative to traditional 3D printing file types such as STL or OBJ. But it offers support for colors, textures, and displacement maps. Most of everything that you create in Keyshot can be printed out fully colored and fully textured on a compatible printer, such as the Stratus Sys J55 or one of their J8 series 3D printers. You can see these comparison images that the label and the speck of plastic were captured so well in the 3D print on the right. Luxion took advantage of the 3MF export feature with their online project. Luxion printed out several variations of the helmet with those different materials. Practically overnight, you can print out five or more different models with different materials and textures and engage in that decision-making process because now it's physically in your hands. Rapid pro prototyping multiple textures or colors like this would otherwise take a very long time and would probably be quite expensive. Not to mention that this also reduces the risk of intellectual property theft by keeping the modeling in-house. In terms of CNF design, this is truly a game changer. I cannot stress enough how amazing it is to see your Keyshot model printed like this. And if you're familiar with traditional prototyping, that could take weeks. Applying this to your workflow instead, of, instead will allow the CMF design phase to start sooner, which means your product will get to market faster. So we've completed the CMF design phase with the help of the configurator, CVR, and 3MF export. And now we need to communicate our color, materials, and finish choices with exact precision to our designers and manufacturers. And this is a critical step. There is no room for misinter misinterpretation or ambiguity in our design. It makes a lot of sense to be able to output CMF document directly from Keyshot where you're able to curate your material library and carry that across project to project. I'm excited to say that this feature will be coming soon in Keyshot. This is just a little sneak peek. The CMF documentation tool will be inside Keyshot. You'll be able to input data about your models, material, color, finish, vendor, a reference image straight into your library or into any individual scene. This can then be outputted into several different file types to complete the rendering of your model. Callouts pointing to parts or materials and a table outlining the material information for each of those callouts. You can see this in this slide, an example of what that might look like. In Keyshot, we added all the information for our materials, and along with our renderings, we also output this document. This is one of the more anticipated Keyshot features in terms of streamlining our workflows. Most of the CMF process right now is done in programs outside of Keyshot. This takes up extra time and, of course, extra resources. This new feature will make it more efficient to capture CMF information straight out of Keyshot. And with that, a very worthwhile CMF design phase and improvement for any team to investigate once this feature becomes available. Photoreal imagery is what Keyshot is known for. But how does this amazing visualization software really help you in your workflow? It might seem obvious. I mean, you can take and make images and animations for your marketing materials that are so real, it fools just about everybody. Sure, but let's break it down a little further. First off, Keyshot for rendering is a very fast and very easy tool. The learning curve is relatively low, so you can get your team set up quickly inside of Keyshot. It was founded on this concept of, be, as, of being as simple as drag and drop. That way, someone without much knowledge of the program or even without any background at all in visualization or photography can still open up Keyshot and intuitively use drag and drop, sort of like painting their model with that rich library of materials. Animations are made easy as well with the animation wizard. Rotation, translation, camera animations, any of these are just a few clicks to set up in the wizard. That provides a base understanding of how animations work in Keyshot. Your team will be able to output some really great looking stuff right away. But of course, with just a little more knowledge and creativity, you can elevate those visuals immensely. 
This image here is the render output window with the configurator tab selected. This is one of the many reasons I will recommend the configurator. It's a fantastic for internal review. That's what we discussed before with the CMS solutions. But what's overlooked perhaps is the fact that you can output everything from the configurator. Just look at the number of images. There's 588 images to be rendered from the material variations, model variations, and the studio. Luxion was able to get the different colorways and model sets out in each different camera angle and environment. It is worth it to integrate the configurator into your workflow from the beginning because that's when you can use it to make design decisions. But as you will see later on, you can narrow down those decisions and create your marketing assets straight from the configurator. Uh, the photo realistic imagery wouldn't really be anything if Keyshot wasn't so accurate. The lighting, the textures, we've gotten to the point where the digital twin of your product can be used in place of the actual final production model. And I'm talking about in-person photography. There are ways to eliminate that entirely from your workflow, and that is by rendering inside a Keyshot. You can generate such photorealistic images in Keyshot that you can skip the photo shoot altogether. And skipping that means you don't have to wait for the final production model, which means you can get started on marketing assets much sooner, which again means your product gets out there faster. Creating those marketing assets in traditional ways becomes at a much higher cost, and it's a cost because you have to gather everyone in person and hope that you nail some really nice photo shots or else you'll need to coordinate another photo shoot. And project photography sessions are very expensive. There's another reason to do this in Keyshot. Using Keyshot gives you a reproducible and reliable result. It's kind of like doing photography with an undo button. You can always jump back into the scene and tweak the lighting a bit or the camera angle. You can even revisit that scene next season with your next product and launch and reuse it that way. I think that makes fun to work inside a tee shot. You can create endless iterations on your marketing assets because it's just easy to do. Changing the entire studio setup to get a different lighting effect is easy. Luxion found this to be a fantastic tool for the Envoy project, where they did not have a final production model. They used Keyshot instead to sell the product. And whether they were creating a more stylized look, a photorealistic look, they had the flexibility to do uh, that with any mood they wanted. Once you get those photorealistic textures and realistic finishes in there, it's just a matter of playing with all the components in Keyshot to try and make the vision come to life. All of this is to say that doing digitally inside Keyshot gives you the reliability and the reproducibility that we've never truly had with in-person photography. So let's get into some interactive assets that you can create straight out of Keyshot. I think something that's really appealing about interactivity on the website or in a store is that it feels new, it feels very intentional, and it helps convey the story in a fun and exciting way for customers. Augmented reality has been around for some time, but there's now a growing list of use cases for it, and companies and users are, growing, are really gravitating towards these ideas. Keyshot 10 brought support for AR with a new AR export feature that lets you output both USDZ and GLB so you can view products in AR on any mobile device, whether it's Android or iOS. This is a unique interactive asset that has much potential. A simple yet very compelling example would be exporting your model for customers to view in their home. This could be a QR code or a link on a website next to the purchase page. Luxion created one of these for the Envoy project, and you'll find that on the mobile version of the Envoy webpage that we discussed earlier. You can then add the AR exported file types to your site. So if customers use an iOS device, it will use Apple's Quick Look to view the 3D model in your environment. If they're on an Android device, it will use Google's Scene Viewer to do the same. So if you want to try this uh, right now with a QR code, go ahead and scan this with your phone. This will detect whether you're using an Android or iOS and give you the correct file, either 
being a USDZ or a GLB. And if you test this, you'll see how you just can give someone a chance to rotate and scale the product inside your space before you buy it, which to a customer brings a whole new level of validation before a big purchase. And that's just one example. You could do the same thing with an exploded view. Maybe you want to show off the internal components of your product in that way. You could create that exploded view in Keyshot, as always, and then export it to AR. Customers could scale that up larger if they wanted to in their space and actually walk around to see the quality of construction. Any scene in Keyshot can be exported to AR. And it's not limited to just something for your customers. There are ways to also incorporate this feature in the earlier phases of the development process for design review. There are a lot of possibilities and more to come. Luxion has a quick tip on setting up a QR code so if you get started easily with this process. So if you haven't already, take a moment to scan this with your phone and you'll see uh, how it, you can use the Keyshot VR to uh, interact with your uh, product. The next interactive asset that you can take advantage of is Keyshot XR. These are interactive, swipeable, rotatable assets that you can deliver across various platforms. It's web-ready, interactive content straight out of Keyshot. To be clear, these are dynamic, 3D rendered, interactive visuals capable of display in any browser that supports HTML5. The content can be interacted, interacted with a mouse or your finger if you're on a touch-enabled device and doesn't require any plug-in to work. Keyshot will render out the individual images of the Keyshot XR content, the HTML, HTML code for the integration into any website, and the JavaScript to support progressive loading of images. Upload that content and you're ready to go. And don't worry, there's also a set of instructions, instructions that are output as well. And XR is something you can add to your website. Maybe place this alongside the purchasing section so your customer can see the product from all angles and in color. Maybe it's a bigger part of your website to tell a story better in which you could even add callouts or material changes. There are standard options through the XR wizard that you can get started creating quickly, but of course you can go really crazy and build out entire animations for XR. All finalized with just a few clicks and no coding. So of course, T-Shot makes it easy with this one as well. And if Keyshot XR or the configurator sounds interesting, know that these are both part of Keyshot Web, the add-on package. If you want more information, we can certainly help you get started. So this takes you back to the configurator, which I want to mention one more time in this interactive asset section because of all the potential use case scenarios. The web configurator output works very similar to the XR output, meaning you can upload it to your website to show customers for use in the point of sale presentations. It can be more than just an internal design tool, but as a way of showing customers all the available product options. So to wrap things up, that's pretty much sketch to shelf with Keyshot. This is our summary of the product development process and the ways in which you can use Keyshot's features to streamline your workflow and really make use of Keyshot in more ways than just creating photorealistic images. Keyshot is an incredible rendering software. There's no doubt about that. We are amazed by what customers can create. And I hope this uh, presentation was able to show you all the benefits that Keyshot can bring to your product development process. For more information, please go to our website, tristar.com, or call us at this number on your screen. We're happy to help and answer any questions that you have. So if there are any questions from viewers of this presentation, uh, we're happy to take those questions now. Thank you very much for that, Sean. Thank you, Randy. As Sean mentioned, if there are any questions, again, this is Randy from Luxion, the makers of Keyshot. Um, we are we are help, you know, happy to address them. Well, there you go, Sean, you left him speechless. 
<laughs> Thanks, Randy. Well, if we don't have any questions, and I appreciate everybody's attendance today, and again, please feel free to reach out to TriStar. Or, uh, we're happy to, to help you uh, uh, with any uh, questions that you have, and if you're interested in acquiring the software or even just acquiring a trial version of the software, uh, we can help you do that as well. So thank you, everybody, and we hope you have a great day.